This project is called Butterfly Wings. And my question to you is, what is the word that means something is the same on both sides? Now the answer is symmetry. And the best way to explain that is actually to use the image of a butterfly. This butterfly has equal wings on each side. That means that it's symmetrical. So it's the same, the same. So if you drew a line down the center, this half is the same as this half. I'm going to show you how you can make your own symmetrical butterfly. What you're going to need is a sheet of white paper. You're going to need a pencil to get started with. Then you're going to need some oil pastels. And then you're going to need some watercolours. And we're going to use the resist technique. And you should all be familiar with the resist technique. We've done it before. Now with pencil, you are going to draw your body. I'm going to do a nice oval shape for the body. Don't press too hard. And then for my wings, so that they are symmetrical, I'm going to do a number three. On the other side, a number three. Then some antennas. Once I've got the shape that I like, I'm going to pick a colour. Now I've picked a nice pink oil pastel and I'm going to go over my pencil lines. Okay, just like so. Got a nice oval body there. I'm going to pick another colour and I'm going to go over my butterfly wings that I've done in pencil. And I think I'll pick another colour. This nice green. And fill that in. Okay, so all my pencil lines that I've drawn so far are covered. Now, because we have done patterns, we did our rainbow snakes, and we're familiar with patterns, and we're familiar with lines, I'm going to start drawing some patterns. But remember, every pattern that you do on one side of the wings, you're going to do on the other side so that you get it symmetrical. And I'm going to do it so it's identical on both sides. I want to do a nice zigzag here, which means I've got to do a zigzag on this side. So repeat everything that you do on one side to the other. I'm going to do some nice wavy lines. I'm going to get some more different colour, try blue here. Do some dots. I'm not going to colour them in because I'm going to use my watercolours for that. Now I want to give my butterfly a nice smile. And I'm going to give its body some stripes. There we go. And because it's an insect, I'm going to give it one, two, three, four, five, six legs. And again, we learnt that when we did our ladybugs. Now, taking my watercolours, I'm going to add some colour. And just like our snake, we want to keep our paintings nice and bright and fun and happy. So I'm going to use a variation of oranges and reds and yellows and greens and blues. I'm going to make this guy stripey. Okay. Do this lovely remember when you're painting don't scrub the brush into the paint and don't scrub the brush into the paper either because it will create a hole you want to be nice and gentle with it and the good thing about the resist technique is that the oil pastel actually keeps the paint within the section so it stops you from going out over the lay lines unless you really really want to now remember, when you paint one side with a colour, you have to do it the same side 
of the other colour. So where I did the blue there, I did the blue there. Now I'm going to paint a nice sandy colour within the dots that on both sides. Again, so it's symmetrical. This is the word that we're learning today. Symmetry. So you see, I'm introducing a beautiful purple on this side. So what do you think I've got to do on the other side? Of course, I've got to introduce it on the other side too. And you see how I'm painting nice and gentle. I'm not scrubbing my brush. I'm getting a nice even coverage. I want to see any white paper showing either. I'm going to pick another colour. I'm going to work my way down. I've got this lovely pink. Put it across there. And because it's there, I'm going to do it on this side. And you see the oil pastel colours never change. Because they're oily, they resist the water. And I love that pink. So I'm actually going to put the pink with that green there. And I'm going to use the same colour as I used for the dots up above, that lovely sandy gold colour. And then I just need one more colour. I'm going to do a lovely blue. That lovely vivid blue. And again, take my time going round. Beauty is that the oil pastels keep me within the section that I want to paint. And same thing, do the opposite side. So what I've got now, as well as the shape being symmetrical, my patterns are symmetrical and my colours are symmetrical. So now I've created a symmetrical butterfly. And one thing that we're missing is a nice rosy smile. I'm going to give my butterfly some nice blue eyes. Make his tentacles, or his antennas, sorry. Let's just lift that up there, just dot, dot that there. And finally, I'm just going to brush around my background. And fill in my background as well. And there we have a very happy and fun filled coloured butterfly. Okay, let's see how you get on with it.